good morning. I just want to do a walk through the garden here, kind of show y'all what my plants are looking like. It's like 95 degrees here, and here in Benton, Arkansas. Um, let's do a walk through, show you what the heat's doing to all my plants right here. So they're still surviving. They're still ripening up. But the hot weather yesterday, 95 degrees here. Like I said, you know, it's taking a toll on them. So let me turn this thing around. I kind of show you what it's doing. Start over here. My Brad's atomic grape here. I've been trimming it off, getting all the dead stuff. All the rain we got the other day. I have a whole bowl of split tomatoes in there. I got to do something with. So y'all have any ideas why I, how I can preserve them? I just put them in the freezer right now until I get some kind of idea what to do with them. So flip this thing around and here we go. You can see uh, it's looking kind of puny right here. But it's still got a lot of tomatoes on it. Like I said, the rain the other day split these things. I'm sure a lot of other folks, the tomatoes just bust open, you know. I was going through here picking some of these things off and just touching them, they just busted. As a matter of fact, right here's one right here. This thing in this camera right here, go ahead and pick this thing off so I don't forget it. So, let's see, they just bust wide open. It's been a pretty productive plant. I will grow it next year. I, I like it. I like the flavor of the tomatoes. My hibiscus is here. They're uh, doing good still. And we get over on the patio. I got some little tomatoes out here, little cherry tomatoes, if you can see them. They're still doing pretty good. So, not too bad in shape right now. Still getting tomatoes off of them. See there, those are, I'll be picking a lot of these today off of here. So, this one over here, we've got a lot of tomatoes on it. I took it out of the sun the other day, get out of that water. Here's my cactuses I've been propagating and getting ready to have a sale over here to sell some of these plants I've been doing. There's two of my little four-legged, three of my little four-legged kids right there. Black and tan up here, that's Savannah, little men pen. Next one down here is going to be Heidi, we call her Ho-Ho. She was my mother's dog, my mother passed away, so we took her in. Down here on the bottom of the towel here, that is Stormy. And she does know how to raise cane around the homestead here. But here's my uh, yellow pear. Like I said, this thing ripened up a whole lot the last couple of days. I'll be picking a lot of these off today. Next one over here is my black cherry. Still getting tomatoes off these things. I really like this black cherry. I like the thin skin on them, the good flavor. This is a uh, Brad, I mean a Napa Rose Blush tomato. It has been really productive. This thing goes way on up. Let me raise this camera up. I don't know how tall this thing is. Probably 11 foot up there. Tomatoes all the way to the top. I like it. Yesterday morning I was out here early down by the greenhouse. So I got some and picked one. It's like putting a piece of sugar cube in my mouth. I mean, it was really, really sweet. The Napa Rose Blushes. I got it from... Um, Rare seeds, Baker Creek up there. I'll be growing these again too. Um, really good plants, you know, with little tomatoes. This is my onion bed here. I ain't never did these onions in years and years because I was a kid in North and down in White County there. I want to replant them this fall. I pull all these up, and do something with them. The garlic bed over here. I don't know where all the garlic's going. I think the rabbits are pulling them up and taking them somewhere. I've been spreading some sawdust around here in the walkways here. Kind of some weed control. Beautifies the place a little bit. Bell peppers doing pretty good. I got some pretty good sized bell peppers in there. These six plants. My yellow peppers here. I grow them for my neighbor D. Maybe I can get her to do a video with me one day. Really sweet lady, on for a number of years here. 
I grew these here mainly for her. She loves these yellow banana peppers. So, like I told you in my other interview, my other video, I want to try to repay elderly people, the ones that helped me in the past, or most of them already gone. But there's still people around who need help, who love fresh vegetables. And if I can grow it, give it to them, that's what I'm going to do. I build this place up a little at a time. I finish get it built up so I can help more people. We've been doing some canning. So I can give people stuff, you know. This here is the um, sour Mexican sour gherkin plant that um, Roots and Refuge Jessica got me interested in. They are a different kind of little cucumber. I like them. Everybody who come through here and taste them, they like them. Like I said, it's a little bit different, but I like them. This is my lemon cucumber that my co-partner in Texas sent me some seeds to. The lemon cucumber. I haven't seen any cucumbers yet, but it's still growing. You know, I was telling y'all about the marigolds. Just look how big these marigolds are in these corners of these. There, I never seen any marigolds grow this big, and it ain't but like one plant or maybe two plants per hole. Of these bricks right here, they the flat growed. Over here, I got two more bell peppers here. The slope kind of got to them. But they don't have no marigolds over in this garden, this raised bed here. I read that you put your okra in here and it'd be okay to, with your bell peppers. I got some okra growing. There's another cucumber plant here. I got a little cucumber in there somewhere I seen a while ago. But um, I don't know, even know what it is. I don't know if it's a pickler or a slicer or what it is, but. I mean, I just seen it, put it in there. And I got a Serrano pepper plant here. And I seen the Serrano pepper somewhere on this thing. Earlier when I was out here for daylight. And over here, I got a mammoth jalapeno. Right over here. Nope, I take that back. That one a Serrano pepper I seen a while ago. This is a culapino pepper I got down there this right here. And my first Culapino pepper. Let me get this sticker up here and show you what it says here. Um, let me get it focused in here. That's what it is right there. I got it from a local co-op, farmer's co-op. I am going to get it out of, the, out of here and put it in a bucket so I can winter it in the greenhouse like I did all the other peppers I did. In the fig trees. Other peppers here, there's a cow horn pepper. This thing right here, these green taste like a bell pepper, green bell pepper. But you get down in there where them seeds are, and it will warm your mouth up. Yeah, here's some other oddball peppers that my co partner in Texas sent me. I'm trying to get them to grow this year. My pop blano pepper right here. I got blooms and stuff on it, but I haven't seen the pepper yet. I love poblano peppers. Hopefully I can get some off this thing. All these peppers here, these what's called a Bangkok, which is these right here. I wanted them in the greenhouse. They, I need to pick them pretty soon to be the sixth time I've cut off these Bangkok and um, cayenne pepper plants here. And you want them over in the greenhouse, you get a good head start on the season. See, there's more of those cow horn peppers there. It's pretty, been pretty productive so far. These are cayenne peppers here. They're steadily growing, new growth. I have a lot of these peppers around here doing hot sauces. And over here, I got my different types of herbs spearmint, peppermint, German thyme, lavender, oregano. I got my citronella plants there. This is my pride and joy. This is my ghost pepper plant. I started from seed last year. And my co-partner sent me and I started out of it in the cracky method. And then later on I put it over in the dirt. And this thing really got big. I've already picked off oh, 30, probably 40, no, over 50 peppers off this thing. So you also have to overlook my garden out here. Weeds kind of got away from me on it. 
underneath these roll covers is my yellow squash and zucchini first go around vine board and everything got to them so I planted some more I got them covered up and I looked underneath there yesterday they're doing good my corn get a little bigger getting ears I got a sugar glider in the house and they love corn on the cob so I mainly grow the corn for them and yes I have a rabbit you see on my okra right through here they kind of went through here and they kind of nipped the leaves off of some of them there's a row over here and amongst all these weeds I gotta get out I got they didn't touch them the rabbits didn't but the row cover I think it's gonna help me get us at least a little bit of squash this year back here I tore out everything I had back here earlier get around here I'm putting in some um, old uh, sawdust out here this pure hardwood sawdust uh, I got from a company right around the corner here I'm gonna get all this tilled in so I'll make this a little bit better growing area back here behind the greenhouse here down on the end is some eggplants that I started I just didn't want them to completely die, so they're trying to grow back here amongst all this stuff. And I've got some um, Spanish style habanero peppers back here amongst this. They're trying to grow. I need to get back here and get all this stuff trimmed out of here, clean it up, make it more presentable, you know. So, let me go inside the greenhouse here. Most of my tomatoes in here are playing out but I'm gonna I'm rerouting some of the stems and stuff the suckers and stuff so I'll probably get in here and it starts raining later on the day and take out a lot of these old ones so I can get ready to put some newer stuff in there I'm still getting cucumbers straggling down through here these other slicers here munchers as you can see here you know they're still coming on. I ain't gonna tear these out to just have to. I'm gonna thin out all the bad ones. So you see there's still some in there. Still getting some blooms up in here. So I believe giving everything a chance. So the pickling ones over here against the side, they just going wild. I haven't paid that much attention to them. I got some cucumbers here. I'm gonna get out here and get these things picked today like I said this is going wild inside here ooh like the bust of my hand you there so I'm still getting tomatoes like I said I got these more right here in this bucket right here I'm rooting so Like I said, you know, I'm still getting stragglers in here. I'm not ready to do a something fall crop yet, but I will be trying to get focused on all that. I've got some tomatoes over here in the hydroponic buckets I've kind of neglected. This one over here in this corner is a pepper I wintered in the hydroponic all winter. And you can see how big this plant is in here, and it's steadily growing. I'm going to move it down out of this corner to the other end of this deal here. I take better care of it down here on the end down here I'm only using half of this greenhouse more or less this thing is 26 by 48 so I'm, I'm trying to utilize it there's more peppers that my co-partner sent me she sent me a church a purple cayenne some ones called Big Jim Brazilian star this here's a cinnamon basil she sent me. I sent half these to her. You go dehydrate them and do stuff with them down at her house. There's more zinnias that we planted. My herbs really didn't do that good this year. I wasn't really focused on them. I was trying to do some other stuff. Yeah, you know, it just don't take long. You get some of the orange in the fire, you neglect certain things. But uh uh, back there in the back, get up here so you get a hold of it. See what I mean? It's called an elephant bush. These are some I'm trying to reroute and get more plants out to propagate them. These plants right here, I lost the name of them. I'm gonna have to look them up. I like the way they look. 
I'm gonna be putting them in some pots to sell later on. These down here are some citrus trees that uh, my good friend Mike across the street is eating a, I don't know, a tangerine or a, a cuties or what it was, and he found six seeds. Brought them over here, and I've got five trees growing so far. So, but back here on the end down here is where I had my, my lettuce started out in hand. Didn't do too good, it got too hot on me. I will be redoing these things here when it gets cooler, try to get set up and learn how to do lettuce in those pipes like that. But, like I said, just learning as I go and getting suggestions from everybody out in the community out there. Like I said, if I do something wrong with one of my videos, to send me a note say, hey dude, try it this way, or don't do that, or whatever, so. I can take constructive criticism, but that's, that's how you say that word. Here's my work table back here. This here is my other, same type of cherry tomato I have out there, up there on my patio. This in here is where I picked that one off yesterday morning, and it was like a piece of sugar going in my mouth. It was really, really sweet. That's that Napa Rose Blush variety. But, um, like, I, like I told you earlier, I haven't seen not one actual tomato hornworm anywhere on this property around these tomatoes. I had two cut worms, one of the tomato in the greenhouse right in front of the road before the marigolds got very big. I had my tomatoes in a pot out there, and I found one on it. Other than that, no worms. I've had a little bit of slug problems and rabbit problems. So, I think I do a lot of straightening up, organizing. I make it look better and people come by and get the produce or whatever, you, flowers. These are some ferns here. This whole area right here will be fixed up like a shade garden. All these ferns come from uh, my neighbor three blocks away out of her flower bed. So, she, I we dug them up. She didn't want them in there no more. We just brought them over. I wanted them in the greenhouse in some big pots. So, the thing's looking up. Turn this thing around here. Well, you can see me. Well, my camera's turned all the way. Oh, man. I guess it's still recording. I guess I lost you there. Hit the wrong button. But that's a little walk through the garden. They didn't show you all my flowers I got going. Or the front of the green, or front of the house here. But I'll do another video doing it. Then around the corner around there, I've got that other property over there. I'm gonna call it the rooster garden number two. We I'm cleaning it up. I'm gonna fence it in, keep the rabbits out of there. And whatever wildlife's around the corner over there. And uh, I'll be I got some videos, I got some aerial drone footage of the property over there. I'll be posting it up, showing you what it looks like and how it progresses. So I'm mainly doing this city stead, homestead by myself, so y'all just bear with me. I'll get better as I go. So, but I did can some grape jelly that uh, Living Traditions Homestead Sarah up there did for the ball canning book. It really works. Makes great, great. If you don't watch Living Traditions Homestead, you need to check out their channel. Sarah does a good job. Kevin does explain the videos on how, what they're doing up there. But check them out. I think y'all like them too, like I do. So I'll get off this thing here, and I appreciate you watching my videos. If you like, subscribe to my channel, share on social media. So God bless you. Y'all have a great day. Bye.